Hi, Corey with Cold Rush Expeditions. We're out here today at the Greek Garden Mine. This is a uh, high Colorado country mine. What I'm doing here is opening our mine up a little bit. So you can see there is a gate on this mine and uh, it's been long since covered. So what we're doing is uh, we're gonna get down, take a look in, see if we can get this gate open, see what it looks like. The mine looks like it was probably a silver. There may have been some gold and that's just going off of what we're seeing right here. But there's a lot of air blowing out of it and we're sitting on a pretty main road. There's a good amount of tailings that kick off the side of the road too and there may be a larger camp below. But right now, I'm really anxious to see what this looks like and get inside this. Uh, occasionally, you will see there on our listings that we will tell you you're gonna have to put some work in, you're gonna have to dig and you're gonna have to open up your mine. This is what you usually want to do. A shovel does not require anything above casual use. And that's all we're kind of doing right now. So we're going to see if we can't get this opened up a little bit, get you guys inside it a little bit and uh, yeah, see what we find. So this is the road coming up to the mine and we will get a better view of it on the way down because we'll put a camera on the truck. It's definitely a high clearance four wheel drive road. We're about two miles outside of Empire, Colorado. And that's where the added is that Corey's working on. And I am going to shimmy my way down this tailings pile because I'm a, I have a feeling there might be another added entrance down there. So we're going to skirt, see what we can find. So I'm coming down these tailings and looking in them to see if I can see any minerals of value. Starting to see some remnants of some copper or some iron in here, which is good. Old timbering. Get some pictures of that. And slowly continue on. Just found a rock that really catches my eye. Right here. See these little, I hope you can see that, little gold flecks in here. I mean, that is, that is ideal. Some pyrite, flecks of gold. That's what we like to see. Okay. Made it down, that tailings pile. And, as I suspected, there is another added here. So, we'll get some pictures of that. From above the road, I could see this outcrop or this uh, cut that looked like it was probably an abbot. And it turns out that I am right. Slippery. And then you've got this beautiful looking Galena ore. Galena is usually a combination of silver, lead, Make it really heavy, really dark, really shiny. As you can see here, so this is what I'm looking at. Looks like Kalina. And then you can see the iron here. Usually gold is in with your iron. So whenever I see gold or iron, I look more to see if I can find any gold specks. Cool. Nothing I can see right off, but I would definitely get this ore processed if I was to start working this mine. We get a better idea. There's a second at it here. I'm just going to inspect this added a little bit closer. There's some nice timbering on it, which looks like it's probably just from local trees around here. Still has the bark on it. I can see it goes in a little ways, but that's about it. It's pretty filled up. It looks like it was probably just a natural collapse. It looks like the rock above here. Usually if it was blasted, which the Forest Service likes to do a lot, then you'll see a bigger hole above it and it kind of gets caved backwards. This one looks like the rock was just, it's more of a conglomerate. Conglomerate is the combination of rock and sand, so you can kind of see that here. And just over the years, water has come running down the mountain and it's brought some of this rock and sand down with it, which is just gradually filled in this added over time. So we'll get a few pictures and 
continue on. See if there's anything else of interest around here. Again, we're in high country Colorado. It is end of August and it is hot, 85 degrees or so. Last time I checked the thermometer. What we're gonna do right now, let's stick Mr. Camera in here and see what we can't see. Now, uh, I don't have a laptop here right off, so it's gonna be until we get back to our room tonight so we can actually see what's in here, but this will give you an idea of kind of what's in here and what you can expect from this mine. This is the Greek Garden again. So we're just wrapping up here at the Greek Garden Mine out here. Uh, really a cool site. If you like Colorado, if you don't mind the high country, we're at 9,400 feet. So it's just like being at desert level. You know, it's not, it's kind of high. I'm old, it hurts to breathe. No, it really doesn't, but uh, super cool old mine. So it appears what we've got over here, we've got one working that's right up here by a very, very good road that you could drive up. As long as you got four wheel drive, you're gonna make it up, no problem. That runs down, down here, probably about 150, 170 feet below us. We've got another at it. The theory is they both go in and then they're connected with winds in between. So there's a lot of workings here. Jess has already found, I mean, she's already found gold, which is, you know, saying a lot since this gets people drive by this all the time and they don't stop and look at what's here. So super cool site, something that uh, anybody's really gonna be, you know, be able to work and actually make something out of. It's got gates on the mine already up here. I mean, so your battle's halfway there. You're gonna have to work a little bit, which is most of any mining. I know we occasionally hear that of like, man, this mining is hard. It's weird. It is kind of hard. So I worked for about 15 minutes and made about, I don't know, a foot worth of clearance. If you came up here with the intention of clearing that out, it would probably take a normal guy by himself with a minimal amount of beer, probably six hours to completely clear that out to where you could open the gate. It's culverted under there, so once you got the gate open, you're good to go. And no, the Forest Service cannot block that gate regardless of what they tell you. If they do, let us know. We have attorneys that would love to speak with them about it. You could have that cleared out, open, and be into a mine that nobody's really been in for probably at least 30 years, and probably, you know, a good 20, 30, 40 years before that because people have this concept that mines are all worked out for some reason. So you're gonna be breaking ground on something that hasn't been seen in likely 50, 60 years, 30 years to be safe. So, so for Gold Rush Expeditions, I'm Corey and we'll see you at the next site.